Hi, I'm nutritionist Dr. Mike Crusell. Now, if you're trying to eat healthy and lose weight, sometimes there could be food choices that really confuse you. Should you eat beef or chicken? Is it flax seeds or chia seeds? Can you take a fish oil supplement or do you need to eat fish? Is plant-based milk just as good as regular milk? What do you, how do you make these food choices? Now, I created the Food Face-Off series to eliminate the confusion and let you know exactly what food you should pick to help reach your goals. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you can get updates and notifications whenever I release a new nutrition video. Wild blueberries versus regular blueberries. This is almost a no-brainer. Now, blueberries are an incredible food. I hate the term superfood, but if you had to give it to one, I'd give it to blueberries and probably pistachios, and then we'd call it quits there. Blueberries are really good. They contain a lot of powerful antioxidants that have been shown to help reduce blood pressure and also improve cognitive health. And when you just didn't think blueberries could get any better, that's when wild blueberries came into play. Wild blueberries have more fiber and twice the antioxidants than regular blueberries. It's like, why would you even bother eating regular blueberries if you could eat its cousin, which has twice the antioxidants and more fiber? Now, the one downfall of wild blueberries is that they're very hard to get. So they're not grown all over the place. They're primarily actually grown in Maine, which is like another reason why Maine is awesome. But where I live in New York or in Vermont or anywhere else that's going to grow blueberries, they're generally going to be regular blueberries. So that limits the fresh version. It's hard to get fresh wild blueberries, but they're available frozen all the time. Now, it's pretty easy to know wild blueberry. One, because if you buy it frozen, it's all over the package. That's wild blueberries, and it has twice the antioxidants. But they're generally a lot smaller. So these smaller blueberries are going to be the wild ones. Now, another interesting thing to note, because the antioxidants are so important, that these antioxidants actually aren't digested very well, which is good that in wild blueberries, you're going to get double. Because if your body doesn't take it up very well, it's nice to add a little bit of extra, right? So you can get more of them. But what's really cool is the bacteria in your digestive system is going to take those antioxidants that don't get absorbed by your body, and it's actually going to use them as fuel. So it's like a prebiotic to fuel that good bacteria in your gut. Now, good bacteria in your gut does all kinds of great things. The one thing that probably is the number one on people's minds is going to be improves immune function, which is just a whole other discussion for a whole other time how the bacteria in our digestive system, which is technically not inside of our body, right? Because technically it's on the outside, even though it's inside, can actually turn on and manipulate your immune system. It's pretty cool. But either way, fresh blueberries or regular blueberries versus wild blueberries, wild blueberries every day of the week. All right.